Docker is not free anymore. In this video, I will go over the announcement and talk about its impact, especially for the applications running on Kubernetes. The price is changing for a product called Docker Desktop. This used to be free all across the board, but today Docker announced that now there are four different price level for this product. Uh, for personal use, it's still free, uh, but if you are using this for commercial applications, or you want to use some of the advanced feature, you need to pay either $5 per user per month or $7 per user per month or $21 per user per month. For those of you who don't know, Docker Desktop is an easy to install application for your Mac or Windows environment that enables you to build and share containerized applications and microservices. So basically it helps you develop your container applications in your local desktop laptop, test it out, and then push it to the cloud. Docker Desktop includes Docker Engine, Docker CLI Client, Docker Compose, and most importantly, Kubernetes. So this is the most cool feature that I personally liked a lot. Uh, you can create a Kubernetes cluster in your local machine. Docker Desktop includes a standalone Kubernetes server, client, as well as Docker CLI integration that runs on your machine. It lets you develop and test your application before you push it to the cloud or production environment. With the paid model, you also get some extra features such as security control, controlling access to who can access what container images from Docker Hub, SAML SSO, etc. Now the question of the hour, does this impact the running container applications, especially running in Kubernetes? The short answer is no. Kubernetes orchestration systems use runtime engines Docker D and Container D. Docker D and Container D both are unaffected by this announcement and will continue to be free and open source. If you are running your container application in EKS, ECS, and Fargate, you should have no impact to this. This is not changing the container runtime engine. This is changing the tool that lets you develop locally and then push it to the cloud. However, if you are using Docker Desktop today uh, for commercial purposes, you have till January 2022 to remediate or upgrade. You can also switch to Docker Desktop alternatives like Minikube, which is free. I have a separate video going over Minikube and some of the other alternative tools that lets you run a Kubernetes cluster locally where you can learn, develop, and test. Check it out if interested, I'll give the link up top. All right guys and girls, that's it for this one. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please click subscribe, comment, like, all that YouTube stuff so this channel can grow and we can do more awesome stuff. All right guys and girls, I'll see you in the next video.